Hello Cancer, this is your November 2018 reading. Please realize that this will not resonate with all Cancer individuals. Some of the energies we may pick up again from the last readings. Moving on from troubled water, some of you. It's meant to be, it'll pop out again. But like I said, some of the energies we may pick up from the last reading, or we may pick up a totally different entire energy to start off with. Okay, so this is for Cancer, starting November 2018. Cancer, starting November 2018. See what the beginning energies are for you? I'm going to get a different tripod so I can get a better angle with this camera. It's just too close up. But beginning energies. Queen of Wands in the upright. Now you could be taken on this energy, or it could be a fire type energy. Like I said, sometimes it's someone just picking up this type of energy, but it also can be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This person is, is in the upright. When they put on their crown, they wear it well. They're usually good-looking, well-spoken, uh, cheerfully contagious with, you know, people just like to be around them. They just cheer people up in general. But let's get going. We're dealing with the Prince of Disc as the starting energy. Now this could be, it's also known as a page, page of disc or coin, but this could be a slow-moving type energy could be an earth type energy, someone taking on that energy, or it could literally be a Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Could be messages are coming kind of slow too. But what's crossing it is something from the past. Maybe you're having trouble forgetting things in the past or thinking about an earth element from the past, someone with earth energy. Because that is the Six of Cups crossing. It's about nostalgia, memories, thinking about things from way back or from a while ago. Your goal is gain in reverse. Maybe you're trying to overturn that. Maybe you have some energies where money was not lucrative. So maybe you're trying to focus on gains that weren't happening in the past. And now you're heading for that change in that situation. Foundation, you're worried. Five of Pentacles, some of you may be feeling left out. Some of you may be feeling abandoned. Or just that um, you don't have a lot of, you know, lucrative options. You feel that way. This is, these are mostly, in a way, feelings. There is help out there. With the Five of Pentacles, though. With the Five of Pentacles, uh, what's attached to that is that there's always help out there. It's just you're not seeing it because you're over-worried. In the past, you were keeping to yourself. You were becoming the hermit. In the near future, you got good fortune, good luck coming. And I'll clarify these as I go, but I want to lay out four more. I want to clarify these first because this is a subject at hand, the past, and the near future. And this is the advice cards, what's coming towards you, and the final, final outcome. So let's see what's going on first. Let's clarify. Prince of Discs with the Six of Cups. Why are you there? For Cancer, why are you there? You were worried about someone in the past? Maybe a younger person, maybe even heard about something about someone from the past. Someone that used to keep you up at nights and worry you. Because it's all about worry. Something that possibly didn't work out with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Your goal is the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Let's find out what that's about before I can even start to you know talk about it too much. Nine of Pentacles, why are you there in reverse for cancer as a goal? Or what crowns you? Again, the Five of Pentacles in reverse. I think you're trying to get out of a, a, a situation that has to do with finances. You're trying to come out of worry and left out in the cold. There's nothing wrong with that. Let me get another card. 
for the Nine of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. So both in reverse. So it crowns you the goal. And you have high hopes. You're setting your hopes and wishes upon a star. And there's nothing wrong with that. Keep the hope up. Sometimes it comes out as the outcome that you get what you want. Five of Pentacles as the foundation. Worry, worry, worry. Feeling left out. Five of Pentacles. Why are you there? Feeling like you lost something. Strength. Trying to regain strength. But you're still worried. You do have strength. Can I get another card for the Five of Pentacles and the Strength card? But you're the Hermit. Stay into yourself, Cancer. These are for Cancers that are uh, going within and thinking a lot. It doesn't mean that you're like locked up in a castle somewhere. It just means that you're keeping your thoughts and what you're thinking to yourself. You're not sharing it with a lot of people. If you do, it's not with very many, that's for sure. The Hermit in the past. Why are you there? King of Wands, because it has something to do with the King of Wands energy. Remember, we had some wands earlier coming in energy. You're thinking about maybe some of the hardships that occurred with the King of Wands. You turned out to be reversed with your Hermit mode, what you're thinking about. It's got you kind of down. Maybe things weren't moving forward with the chariot. With the king of wands, like I said, it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. You got the chariot there, which is a lot of fire energy here. Things are just not moving quickly enough with the king of wands. Maybe you're just thinking way too much on them because you got the worry card. You're way too much in your thoughts, in your head. But in the near future, your luck is going to change. Just find out why. Or what's attached to it, I should say. Wheel of Fortune. Why are you there in the near future for cancer? Try to get these shuffled. King of Pentacles in reverse. Hmm, that's interesting. Your luck is going to change with the King of Pentacles is attached to it. That could be an Earth element, could be Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo again. They're in reverse, but for some reason you're getting a lucky situation with them. Or maybe there was a blessing in disguise somewhere with this situation with the King of Pentacles. Can I get another card? Still not telling me a lot. Can I get another card for the Wheel of Fortune in the upright with the King of Pentacles attached? Maybe things are better now. You're going to have a little competition. You may win out over the King of Pentacles. Because that Five of uh, Wands is a competitive energy. It's combating. But it looks like you're going to win out with the good fortune, with the luck. So something's going to go in your favor. Now, I'm going to go for the Vice card or a possible future outcome. Eight of Cups. It's not walking away crying. You're not walking away crying. I need another card, though, to know more. Eight of Cups in reverse for Cancer. Why are you there? You're not walking away because you're waiting for an offer. Possibly a deliverance of love, friendship, something good with the Knight of Cups. It's always something good with the Knight of Cups. You're longing or maybe getting something positive. So maybe it could be the advice from the universe. Don't walk away just yet from a negative situation. Maybe you're feeling a little down, crying. But the advice from the universe says don't walk away yet because better things are going to be given to you. Can I get another card with the um, Eight of Cups and the Knight, Knight of Cups? Even though you're not getting no collaboration from what your thoughts and feelings were, because you're not walking away, you didn't get a collaboration, but better things may be coming. Don't work with things that don't serve you. Wait for the better things that are coming along. That's what I'm getting. What's coming towards you, 
the lovers in reverse. Someone could be very well thinking about you. This could be a partnership or somebody that's kind of turned around. Could be a lover, past lover, doesn't matter. They're in reverse. They're coming towards you. Or the situation can have to do as an outside environment. What is causing all this is a love situation gone sour. Now, the lover's card in reverse. Why are you there for cancer? Coming towards them or the outside environment. Someone's taking a break from a love situation. They're just taking a break. And they're not seeing things clearly or how they should be. Someone is... Or someone could be just blocking everybody out and taking a break that you know of that had made possibly to do as a lover or someone you loved. Could be a family member. doesn't have to be a lover. But I'm seeing someone taking a break. I think they're too stressed out because they got their blindfolds on. They can't, they can't stand to see what's going on right now. Your hopes and fears... Princess of Discs. Now we had that as a subject in hand. It's a page in a way. Princess of Discs. Why are you there? Why are you there as the hopes and fears of cancer? Sort of like a page. But it's just a younger person. You fear that you may have no options with this person or you won't be able to make a choice or they won't make a choice on you. Can I get another card for the hopes and fears? Because you just want to be happy. But you're afraid things won't go in your favor. You're afraid you won't get happiness sometimes. At times. And that, that makes sense because you got the worry card there as a foundation. So it goes hand in hand. The outcome... Work. You're going to have to work on something. Eight of Pentacles in the upright. It's work that will produce something. It'll, it's going forward. Let me find out more. Eight of Pentacles, why are you there? As the outcome for cancer. you got to work hard because things before... from. Things before did not pan out, didn't come your way. So to get what you're wanting, you're going to have to work really hard. It shows here as a subject of hand, the Eight of Pentacles, things that something not working out. But in the end, something's going to work. You're going to work on something because things weren't coming in. You're going to have to turn that around. You've got to work for it. That's what it's saying. You've got to work for what you want. It's not going to come easy, but it's stable. Eight of Pentacles with the Three of Wands in reverse. Why are you there? Page of Cups. You've got to work on this situation with this love situation or things you love. If you want the messages to come in, things that you love to come in, better tidings, just joy in general, you're going to have to work on it. You're going to have to work for what you want. You have to go for it. You can't be the hermit anymore, okay? You can't go on hiding. I think that's the message here. You can't hide. You can't, you know, it's saying here not to not to walk away, to accept this positive offers and stop. You're not collaborating because you're, you're keeping to yourself. You're worried. But luck is on your side. You got good luck coming your way, even though you may, like I said, have to work for it because you got this five of wands too. This is battling for what you want, and this is competition, this is struggles, but good luck is there as long as you work for it. So, Cancer, I know you don't feel like it, I know things are you're feeling kind of down, but you, ha you have to keep on working, you have to keep on pushing yourself to get out of the rut you're in because people that are on the outside. They're not well. They're not thinking straight themselves. They're not seeing things for how they are themselves. And it's making you sick. The ending energy is three of swords. You're still going to be feeling that heartbreak. But realize that it's slowly coming out. But you're going to have to do the work to come out totally. I know it's easier said than done. I hate giving that message, but I know you got good fortune on your side. you got lady luck, as they say, the wheel of fortune. And with this eight of pentacles, you work on it. You could possibly get it. 
I know you feel heartbroken about something. Somebody is. Whether you are or this person that's the outside environment is feeling heartbroken, maybe. But that's got to be let go so you can enjoy your happiness that you're wanting. And I'll be giving another reading before the middle of November, for the mid-November readings. And we'll see if things have changed, the energies have changed, seeing if this luck has panned out. And I'll talk to you later, Cancer.